Hey everybody, Day Trader Rockstar here, and a great review video and a watch list video for tomorrow. But this is a great video because we had a great day today, and I want to just go over and, and kind of stress how important it is to step up to the plate, take the bat off your shoulder, and take a swing. Wayne Gretzky had one of the greatest quotes ever you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And the same thing goes for uh, trading. You know, um, been trading full time since 1996. Over those years, I've learned every single way how to lose money, all right? That's the important thing. That learning curve was severe. I went through the 2000s, the tech bubble, 2008, the financial crisis, the flash crash. I was there and I was probably broadcasting through most of it. So there's a lot of experience on this show. And we have a great community of traders at Day Trading Radio. So I invite you to come check it out. Every morning I'm broadcasting. It says here uh, from 8 o'clock to a.m. We've moved that up earlier because we found out a lot of the stocks are moving pre-market around 7.30. So I'm in at the um, in at the office at 7.30 and the show goes on. The show's on right now. But um, 7.30 to 4 o'clock every day we're going to rip this market apart and trade from it. All right. I call it trading for uh, trading. I specialize in the micro futures, uh, trading divergences, but also stocks options, everything else, all right? And the uh, the setups here are, are excellent. And I'm gonna just show you, that today was a great day. Today was an absolutely fantastic day. This is just going back and taking a look at some of the trades. Now, if you're f familiar with me and my trading, I don't, because I'm juggling a lot on the, on the day, we have a full, you know, I have hundreds of traders in our, in our chat room, on our dashboard, um, and we're trying to, manage stocks, options, and futures, taking questions, teaching, education, everything. It's just a lot going on. So I you concentrate on identifying these trades and taking these trades. And in some cases, I always tell you to take multiple contracts because part of the you know, part of part of the methodology and every you know, this is a whole methodology when we get down to it. I'll talk about the 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 business plan for success is just having your order entry criteria, profit exit criteria, automatic stop criteria. These are the top three things you need to be really um, have defined before going into a trade. And I teach all this. This is exactly what we teach. This is part of a, a you know, a um, little. Uh, what I call the business plan. I, I give these out to, uh, you know, traders all the time. So if you're interested in this, just reach out to me on the channel. Um, I have no problem giving you the uh, the webinars and stuff. Or head over to daytradingradio.com and when and sign up for a trial, the trials, and check out everything. It's a free trial, no credit card required or anything, and you can download all the uh, courses and stuff. So let's get started here. Um, you know. Like I said, the trades I take are based off what's called a divergence. And the divergence was uh, developed by George Lane in the late 1950s. I'm not going to go into this. I go into this every single day. But if you're not familiar with this, you better get familiar with it because you're missing out on a lot of money to be made. And if you're looking to learn how to trade, I'm telling you, I, you know, I've learned how to, you know, I've learned every technique. And over the years, over the 20 something years, 25 years now of trading, I only concentrate on two to three setups a day, and that's what I teach. So that's these are the trades I take, and it's very simple. I get in here, you can see what time it is. Let's see, we actually got in, I get in around seven o'clock, watching the market sell off. This is the MES, which are the micro contracts, and the micro contracts. Just and I want to try to keep these videos short. I I tend to get a little carried away, and they end up being hour-long videos because it's just so much, so much to go over. But um, you know, so I don't want to break down exactly what the uh, what everything represents. But we trade the micro contracts, which are basically um, you know, for one point per contract you'll get five dollars versus the e mini contract for one point you would get fifty dollars so it's one tenth an e es mini contract all right um so that's i just this is kind of a, a little and if you have a discounted broker you should be able to trade one contract for fifty dollars two contracts a hundred if you have another broker like an interactive brokers a non distract you could be paying thousands of dollars for one contract so it's a mi big difference so i always recommend finding that discounted broker you could go you could do uh Ninja Trader, you could do Trade of Eight, you could do, I think Apex. There's some of the other ones. Um, if you are looking for that discounted broker, 
to be able to get those things. And again, these order entry, profit criteria, automatic stop, the risk management, all this, um, you'll learn the indicators we're using. But again, I'm going to show you just the setups I take. And what I want to take is what's called the lane divergence. And basically, it is basically, um, and I'll go back to that one more time. I don't want to waste your time too much. I want to get this going because I, I can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be Friday. Uh, and I figure we're going to pick up right where we left off trading like this. So I, um, you know, open up your accounts, get them ready, head over to Day Trading Radio and trade side by side with me. And I'll, I'll show you exactly where to get in and where to get out. And you could just start making money. You just have to have the time to put in. You know, that's really the, uh, the key there is having that time to put in. So right now, um, the, the divergence setup, we're looking for that lower low on the price. And the higher high on the stochastics and again I don't want to really go into detail but basically the momentum is like a rocket you know the momentum in your, in your stock your buying pressure you can't really see it sometimes because it's, it's hidden over the moving averages uh, over time you'll you won't even realize it but the stochastics have a great way of showing that and it's like a rocket you have a you have the the momentum that's pushing that rocket higher and then the momentum will it'll drop off a cease you know those buying, but the rocket will continue to go up a little bit further and before turning over. So your price level will go further, even though the momentum has stopped. And that's where we see those divergences. And that's a great way of uh, describing that. And what you're looking for is that low, the low on the stochastics, the, high, the lower low on the price, and the higher low on the stochastics. And that's the change in momentum that you're seeing based off the stochastic oscillator, which is measuring the close of the price on each candle relative to the other, you know, the previous candles, depending on what the, you know, how many candles you're looking back. In this case, it'll be 9 or 14, 40 or 60. Um, so let's get right into it. This is going to help a lot of people who've, who know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you just got to follow up and, and learn from the, uh, learn from, learn from us here. All right. So we get in here where this is even before the market opens, nine o'clock, and we're looking for that low and that lower low. <clears throat> and as you can see, we had that low and lower low here um, and that higher low on the stochastic. So this is exactly, you know, and, and when you see that, you have to recognize because it only happens when this happens. <laughs> you know, I, I tell everyone, my, my, um, my saying is, it's not a Wayne Gretzky saying, but I say, show me a divergence and I'll show you a stock or not, you know, I'll show you from that divergence, that index or that trading vehicle move in the direction of the divergence nine out of 10 times. So right when you have that divergence, you had this downward trend here. You know, you could actually see that this a little trend that's going on right here. That's an F2, I'll just use my F2 in the future. Uh, when you have that divergence, nine out of 10 times, you're gonna break that downward channel line. And that's exactly what we do. And, and we got that rotation up and we got up to that 80 line and you take profits. And I take profits a lot. That was a two, almost a two point trade. And two points, five points, five points per trade, two points is 10 points per contract. I only had two contracts on or buy there by. I sold one, bought two. I, you know, I was been trading, I was trading a lot. Not to get complicated, but you always want to have a couple contracts, at least at least two. That way, you could take your profits off and then move your stop up and take advantage of the bigger moves. All right. Now that was a good, a good little setup there. The market continues. It has this rotation up, down, all around, and all we're doing is waiting for our setup. And our setup is so unique, so easy to recognize that all we have to do is wait for it. Right now, you will have a buy side and a sell side divergence. Uh, as we follow the market around, I'm actually broadcasting, you know, looking at trades, looking at stocks. In this case, today we got into BABA. I sent that alert out on to, uh, you know, yesterday we talked about getting into BABA after the earnings, if, especially if it was a gap down, you wanted to buy it. And we bought it and we bought it big time and we had a nice trade on it up about almost a thousand dollars on just two contracts, 400 and yeah, about eight, eight to nine hundred dollars on the two contracts. Um, that was just two contracts. Um, that's a that's a video for another uh, another time. For what we're talking about right now are these divergences and short-term trading, the uh, MES or micro contracts. 
So these are the candles, and I'm, I'm looking again, both on the buy side and long side, you know, long side and short side. Here we have what I call a relative divergence, and you can see that stochastic down here, and I didn't take this, and there'll be some trades that I miss. I might be busy, you know, this is the 950 area. Uh, we look for it, what we call a 950 reversal, where the market moves aggressively at 950. There's also was a kind of a little pop up here, but a failure to move up on the stochastics. And with your experience, you'll you'll see that you'll see that momentum has started to turn over here, and it didn't really move. And that's when you start to get these big moves. And it's a beautiful thing to see this. It's a beautiful thing to be in tune with the markets. Here's a great example right now of another sell side divergence, and um, that happened around 1020. And you can see that higher high, and then we had the uh, the lower high here. Now, the divergence is important to. There is some good divergences and some bad divergences, or some sloppy divergences. You want to have this, you know, in this case on the sell divergence or the buy divergence, the second what I call the first stage and the second stage. The first stage is the first high, second stage is the lower high with the higher high in the price. Same thing on the buy side. The first stage is the low. The second stage is the high, the lower low, but the higher low. That's the second stage. So you always want that second stage to be at an aggressive angle up higher. Not really flat, not, not something you have to try to figure it out. But in this case, you want this kind of underneath that 20 line. If it's underneath, or in this case, the 80 line, because you're, you're, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, um, a short here. And in this case, you want to have that line down here. Maybe you want a failure down here. This kind of got up above the 80, even though it was what I call a mathematical divergence. You know, there the angle is that is a, a lower high and a higher high. That is a divergence. But for the beginner traders, I always try to tell you, to, so this might have scared you out saying, all right, John says, make sure it breaks down under 80. And you'll learn about that also. And you'll also learn about this oscillator on the bottom, the 60, 10, how important that is to play. So as we go on, as we start to see, we start to see that the market is starting to, to kind of, the market's making a low here, and we're starting to turn up here. And I, I remember getting in here because it was a can on. I said, you know what? Looks like a divergence. I'm going to jump in here a little early. I ended up taking four contracts. Um, and it kind of got a nice little pop, but it was a nice divergence. You know, it was a nice divergence. We got a nice little pop, and, and I ended up taking it off up against the 20-period moving average. Now it moved up a little bit higher and actually, as you can see, this thing really did start to scream. And I wasn't really worried about this spot, but this area right here, this was a nice, another nice trade, about a, a, you know, um, a point and a half. And that doesn't look like a lot, point and a half here, point and a half there. But they're high probability trades. 90% of them work out. Actually, 100% of them worked out today. Now here we had this other setup, and this is what I call a relative divergence. And a relative divergence, this is good. You, you take the average price, especially the average closing price, and if you see that price come down, and we kind of tag that, and we say, all right, this price is coming down, or right down to where these lows were, but something's different over here. You have the stochastics that's way up here, way, way up here, and that is what we call a relative divergence, a very good signal. It's an excellent signal. Um, it, it just, it's almost a double bottom. It doesn't have to be a pure divergence where we have to be lower than the previous price, but it has to be relative down and we have to see a big change. You know, normally you would think, all right, stochastics rotate when you get oversold, you get overbought, the price moves along with that. In this case, you're pulling back to the price here when it was oversold, price comes back to the same spot, but all of a sudden stochastics are not oversold. That momentum is strong. And that was one of our best setups of the day. And I knew that was the best setup. And when you have a great setup like this, which is on the 9-3 and the 14-3, in this case, it was also on the 44, which I don't have plotted on this chart. And you have the 60-10 down here, which might be a little complicated. That's your five-minute time frame. And when that's starting to move up, you have a large, large trend about to start. This is where you would want to take your spy calls or any type of you know, option trades, because, you know, the option trades, you want to give those a little time, you want to maybe, uh, you know, there's, they're day trades, but they're also longer, you know, these, these are based off the one minute chart. The option trade, when you have a nice divergence with a five, what I call a five minute, but a 60-10 kicker, 
that's when you want to be able to trade the options. So you trade the options, the spy calls or leverage spy calls or anything that you're trading, you know, a, rel you know, a symbol, um, you know, an associated leverage call, put, whatever you're, you're trading alongside, you know, what your signal is. That's when you want to take those. And you also want to just take those with the notion that the trend is changing and you have, a, you know, a directional trade. And that was just a fantastic setup there. And I wish I, you know, I wish I t took my options there. Now, the combination of having the higher divergence, the reversal candle, it's just a, a key. You put your stop underneath. We talk about the criteria. What's your, you know, here's your divergence. Lower low should be capped with a reversal candle. Divergence signal is best one up with lower trend lines. Um, Let's see what else here. Again, I have an exit strategy. This is uh, new. That's uh, since I added to this. Here's some really good stuff. I'll let you take a look at this. I won't go into it too much, but there's three star, three type of divergence I'm looking for: a one star divergence, which is regular divergence; a two star divergence, which is a reversal candle. It might also have a five minute stochastic setup, and that's a two star. A three star divergence, you want to have a, little, a reversal candle five minute time of day, three things lined up. This, in this case, with this last divergence here, you had the five minute lined up, you had a very steep diversion, you had a reversal candle, um, and it was in a recognizable pattern, which was kind of a downward channel. It was, it was a good qualified two to three star divergence. You wanna take every two or three star divergence. It's just that that's why you come to work. That's why you're here. If you don't take it, you're just going to look back and you're going to say, wow, you know, and that we would take it. And maybe we take it off too too early, maybe, but, you know, a winner is a winner. Um, I should have taken a bigger position on this. I should have taken options on this. I didn't. I was kind of upset after the, after the fact. But we did predict, you know, at this point on the show, and if you, if you listen to the show, you remember I said, this is the one that's going to bring us up to the VWAP. This is a high probability high high probability i think everyone should get in this one it's going this is going to be the big one and sure enough look at where it went it went all the way it went all the way so the market went up we rode that uh we watched that market go up into lunch um just looking at some things didn't really do nice pullback these are what we call bull flags and this is another technique it's what's called the 2020 bull flag now normally i have my 20 as a green line I, uh, I changed up the colors on the <laughs> on the chart here. So this is yellow line represents my 20 period moving average. That's the 50, and this is a 200. Um, just for now, because I was just switching up the colors. I was messing around with the charts before, but this is really a nice bull flag. You close above when you close above the 20. Your stochastics are under 80, and these are above 85. That is considered a bull flag. It's what I call a 2020 bull flag. Something I have been uh, I. I coined this. I mean, I don't think anybody else uses a 2020 bull flag. And it represents seeing this stuff day after day, thousands, thousands of days of trading and seeing certain things line up and knowing when those things line up and seeing the reaction, it's easy to say, all right, this is a bull flag. So that's a, a trading opportunity right there. Um, this was a good divergence here going into 150. I did not take this one, but we'll look back at it. You see that reversal candle right here? At a low, sneaky, sneaky low. And when we come down to that sneaky low down there, we put this, you put this, um, put this, let's see here, crosshairs right on that low. And you see at this point on that low right down here where those stochastics are, when that's making a low, you see how that's above the 20 line and heading up? It's been heading up for the last two candles, even though the price has been going down, stochastics are heading up. This is what we call almost a hidden divergence. You don't really see the drop in the stochastics, but this is a very strong divergence. And it actually had a nice rotation up. And you don't have to worry about anything as long as you're taking your profits when your rotation on your 9.3, which is this is the 9.3, when that gets above 80, you take profits. You have nothing to worry about because look at the market comes right back down. Doesn't mean if you get two points, three points, 20 points. 
it's all money in the pocket. I call the $20 trade. I find it walking down, the, uh, if you're walking down a sidewalk and you see a $20, you pick it up. Finding these divergence all along here is a, are like finding $20 bills times how many contracts you're getting in too. All right. And then the way your market here kind of pulled back here. Um, buy, sell, 45. I actually got a little pop on this here. And the reason I took this one is because of the 14.3 divergence here. The 14.3 right down here. This was close too, but I've been in a, I've been really in a, uh, a profit taking mode. To tell you the truth, the I mean, if I get a move in 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 a, an aggressive, oh, let's move back over here. Here we go. If I get a nice move, there we go. Let me get this back up here. It was it was basically this right here. I was looking at this right here. I said, all right, this is a higher low. Looks pretty good. Um, I'll get in here. And we got a small little pop. I didn't feel good about it. I ended up taking it off. Made a point in the quarter. And it was a good thing because it kind of came back down. And now it came back down. Didn't really get lower than this. It didn't really get lower than the 20. It was actually what we call a kind of a running divergence. A little sloppy. You know, you don't have to take every trade. There's better divergence. Like this is this. This was the second best divergence of the day. This is just perfect. And the reason I'm showing you these, there's, there's just, I say, print them out, put them up on your board, do what you have to do to know that this is the best way to trade. This is absolutely the best way to trade. And if you trade with us here at Day Trading Radio, that's what I'm pointing out every day. And I'm taking these right with you. And I'm taking them off way early. As you can see, they are the biggest moves of the day. Divergences will give you the biggest moves of the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I should have taken this one. And I look back at this one. I said, oh, why didn't I take the calls into this one? But, you know, sometimes I get my hands, my hands are full. We have a, a very busy um, chat room sometimes. And I'm taking questions. And it's easy for me to get in, not be stressed out about it. And then uh, get out and show you where to get them. And plus, we have a Rockbot, which is identifying these too. And you get the Rockbot along with your membership, which identifies these. Even if I'm not identifying them, it's working on your screen and it's identifying them. And if you're actually a lifetime member, you get that script. You can actually run it and have it trade for you. If you're interested in something like that, having these uh, bots um, trade for you, just reach out to Day Trading Radio. All right. Um, dot com right day training radio dot com so what do we have there was kind of another bullish flag here another flag the market's really strong and I think that was it because the day ended at four o'clock and I was out of the I was out of the office and as you can see now um, the market's here just drifting this is the overnight session right now um, I haven't traded any at the overnight session but let's just see if there was an op opportunity yes there was a little trade right you see this right here a low and a you know double bottom a higher low here show me a divergence and I'll show you a stock or whatever the index is will move in the direction of the divergence nine out of ten times unless there's news that's our that's our enemy that's our arch enemy now and again you take it off on the rotation so you're getting something you're probably getting two three points and these are micro scalps these are real hyper scalps because we're, we're dealing with the one minute time frame. You could apply this technique to a five minute time frame and normally, and again, I've been in the market so long that I know exactly how these things work out, that every a divergence will give us five to seven candles. <laughs> five to seven candles. My data gives me, my research has told me over the years, look for five to seven candles after you get a divergence. Now. Five to seven candles on a one minute chart is five to seven minutes. Five to seven uh, candles on a five minute chart, five to seven, five to seven candles on a five minute chart is 25 to 35 minutes. It's a big difference between five and seven minutes and 25 and 35 minutes. Imagine being in a trade for 35 minutes, you're probably way up here. So when you take these same situations on the five minute chart, that's great too. And I always recommend newer traders to trade the bigger time frames because 
this could be a little choppy. Um, the f three minutes a great tr trading time frame too. Look at this up here. What do you see? Damn, I should be trading all night tonight. We should have been trading tonight. Perfect double bottom. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> double bottom. I'm crazy now. See the high? The high? Look at the lower high here. I mean, come on. I mean, and look at the move after that. This is where we are. This is where we left off. The market's right now. This is what time it is. It's 9 o'clock on the dot. 9 o'clock, 9.06. And this is where we are. So throughout the evening, even if you're trading over in Europe, the overnight trades, I always say there's some good time frames and, um, for the overnight trades. I have a, uh, a little cheat sheet for the times here. Uh, sorry if it's a little blurry. But the overnight session... It's really good from 3 a.m. to your 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. all the way to you know the opening uh, 9:30. That that's what we like the 3 a.m. It's a little early for me to get up at that point. I would if there was some interest out there, maybe once a week. Um, but again, I would have to see that interest. It's that's a you know I'm on the Eastern Time train in New York, so that's a that's a stretch for me doing without getting burnt out too much but there's a lot of uh, good opportunities in that time frame it's a really good opportunity so if you're in the European markets or you're up that early three o'clock a.m. Eastern time zone you'll, you'll usually get a divergence at that time let's go back here just for the heck of it and I want to send this video see it's 26 minutes long I apologize that it's so such a long video but we'll be doing this again tomorrow let me just go out here. Did I go through the whole thing already? All right, let's go back out here. Six, five, four, three, two, to four o'clock. You'll just, all right, here's 2.30. Here's three o'clock. So three o'clock, you can see the, the market here kind of topped out 3.20 and came down. Sometimes there's a divergence, sometimes there's not. It's hard to, you know, here we had kind of a divergence right over here and a nice little pop and a nice little divergence here and a nice little pop I mean it was full of divergences this this last two days I actually had a I actually had a short in there that was good um, and that's it that is the divergence trades today I was very active on them we also traded stocks. We we did the Alibaba trade, which was absolutely fantastic. Looking at my DWIS here, look at this. This was a penny stock just earlier this week at five cents. Now it's at fourteen cents. So my cost average is eight cents. Eight cents. Now it's fourteen cents. I want to get this. <laughs> this is like a dream stock. I've been holding in a year. Um, not that that I would recommend anything like that. Uh, I like the Baba. I think we can get some follow through up to around 90, 89, 90. Uh, maybe even tomorrow. I would like that, but we were all over that today. Beautiful candle. It's, it actually pushed up against a little resistance. $85 was our resistance. That was the call for today. But I think we get up, uh, I would say between 88 and 89, I'll take my last. I have one more call on it. I'll take it off tomorrow into that level. Um, an update on. Here's a cheapie, Haynes Brands. Gave us a beautiful divergence, popped. We actually had a, we actually had made a nice little bundle there. It's actually pulled back, and we're going to watch it tomorrow. It pulled back quite a bit today, but there was a stock out there that's very similar. No, no actually, that's a different thing. Cancel that thought. We're going to be watching this one tomorrow to see if it starts moving back up. Want to really get this thing just... You know, we're going to say, all right, this is our first pullback after the bounce, after the divergence. You always buy the first pullback. There was insider buying back here in September, some cluster buying in the eights. I thought we might see some this week. The divergence is there. The first pullback. Love to see this. I'd be a, I would be a buyer above this line, the 756 line. A buyer above 756. All right. Um, Adma is another cheapy just to give you another one another nice one we got into and it's pulled back a little and the first pullback should be nice um you can see that trend line nothing else on that one and then 
Is there any special ones I want to give you for tomorrow? Something maybe a best bet? Cause, uh, hmm. We're going to leave it at that, you know, because I know I'm going to be concentrating on the futures tomorrow. And that's, we just, you know, had a really good day. Just the market radar, which tells us what we're going to look at here. This is, um, our target was about 40.20. And we got up there. We actually got up close to 40.50. We got up to the 200 period moving average, which was kind of the X marks the spot. And now we pull back. And a pretty decent day today on the reversal. Um... But we came right down to an important level. The 60-minute time frame will show that. You see this black line? That was our breakout. See how we broke out here, and we kind of, and this is a pullback to the that breakout level, and then we bounced. So this was a descending triangle, which we gapped down. We came up and closed that gap, and now pulled back. Technically speaking, it was a, it's a thing of beauty, you know. It's really a thing of beauty. We go out to the five-minute time frame. You can even see it better. This was that descending triangle. We had the news. It broke down. We went up, closed the gap, filled the, filled that gap, went up to an area which was support, becomes now resistance, pulled back. But we also came down originally down to this level, which if we zoom out here. You can see this is where we were breaking out of. Uh, so those, these lines have been really perfect. Um, and tomorrow, we'll see. We get back over that 39.54. Things are going to look really good. We're kind of extended on the five minute, doesn't mean anything. The hourly looks good. And the daily, it's a little crowded with my chart. All those lines looks okay. So tomorrow's a Friday. We'll take it as we see it. Short term trading. And I'll see you guys in the market there, daytradingradio.com. If you have any questions, you can reach out. Like I said, if you want to just uh, shoot over there, you'll see a, uh, a link right there on the front page. It gives you uh, access for 10 days. Get into our chat room. Say you saw this video. I'll give you the, uh, you know, I'll give you the business course here just to kind of get you set up. And uh, again, we specialize in short-term trading, swing trading, option trading, everything. I'll catch you there tomorrow. Have a good day. See you then.